What will the world look like in 2050? What trends will shape our lives? How will we live, travel and work? These are the questions that we must ask ourselves today. We are facing a new era. The century of oil is ending. Natural resources are becoming scarce and the Earth's climate is threatened. We must take action to counter these trends and to create a new foundation for our entire energy supply. We need hundreds of thousands of wind turbines, large solar plants in the desert and mini power plants in buildings. Our homes will make do with much less heating power and our power grids must become smarter. Electric cars must fill up on, store and be a source of green power. Our cars and homes will have their own sensory organs in the form of tiny sensors and be able to communicate with each other. That means researchers and inventors will have to be more creative than ever before. The goal must be to ensure that the Earth remains livable for everyone, for 9 billion people by 2050. By then, the number of people living in cities will nearly equal the planet's entire population today. And for the first time, senior citizens will outnumber children and youth. How can we manage to stay healthy in old age, along with reorganizing our energy supply and fighting for livable cities? This is one of the great challenges of the century. To see what the world of tomorrow will look like, we must look at what is going on in the research labs of today. Life in 2050 is a book that is aimed at school children and students, as well as researchers, managers and politicians. It shows that we can meet the great challenges of the 21st century if we have the courage to act and are prepared to help invent the world of tomorrow.